So in the last uh, little uh, mini lecture, we talked about total solar eclipses. To get the total solar eclipse, then you've got to be in the right part of the Earth so that the moon blocks the sunlight. If you're, if you're nearby, then the moon blocks part of the sunlight, but not all of the sunlight, and so you end up with a partial solar eclipse. Uh, so the region of space here where all of the sun, moon's, sun's light is blocked by the moon, we call the umbra. And the umbra is kind of a large cone-shaped shadow extending from the moon. Now, the problem is it's cone-shaped, and the way cones work is they narrow down to a point. Okay, so it's, and the thing is, the, the Earth's distance from the moon is such that the shadow just barely touches Earth. Well, the problem is, these are two pictures of the moon taken with the same telescope and the same magnification on different days. What do you notice? On the left, the moon's big. On the right, the moon's smaller. The moon's orbit is elliptical. And so as the moon's orbit is elliptical going around the Earth, sometimes it's farther and sometimes it's closer. Well, when it's farther, the shadow doesn't quite make it to Earth. So when the moon is looks smaller in the sky, the shadow doesn't make it all the way to Earth. And so that means even if you're totally lined up, you still see a little bit of the sun shining around the moon. We call that an annular eclipse. Annular comes from the, the Latin annulus, meaning a ring. This is not annual. It doesn't mean it happens every year. It's annular uh, ring eclipse. So this is actually kind of, you know, depending on who you ask, a really cool thing, a really terrible thing. You know, and, and, you know people that really like total eclipses, it's terrible because nowhere on Earth do you get a total eclipse. And then people that think that like really rare eclipses think this is really cool because it's really, 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 really kind of special because only in a very, very tiny part of the Earth can you be in just the right spot and actually see the sun shining a ring around the moon. And so there was an annular solar eclipse actually uh, – December 19th, uh, or December 26th of 2019, and it ran uh, across the uh, uh, southern part of India um, and the Indian Ocean and, and uh, Southeast Asia. And if you had to ride on that path, it was going to be an annular eclipse. Um, um, now, sometimes the shadow completely misses Earth, in which case nobody on Earth sees a total solar eclipse. And that would be an example of a partial solar eclipse. There was a partial solar eclipse in January of 2019. Next thing we'll be talking about is going to be lunar eclipses. And that would be when the moon passes into Earth's shadow. Now, Earth's shadow falls on the moon. So we have, we have solar eclipses in which the moon's shadow falls on Earth. And the possibility would be that you would have a total solar eclipse if things are lined up just right. More likely, the shadow barely misses Earth, and you get a partial solar eclipse. So partial solar eclipses happen, happen, you know, quite a bit more, than, uh, happen a little bit more than total eclipses. And and then uh, if you happen to have it lined up like a total eclipse, but the moon is at apogee, that means farthest from the Earth, then what you get is an annular eclipse. And uh, there was actually an annular eclipse back in the 1990s that ran right across uh, Texas. West Texas got it uh, right, right, right at uh, some, a major observatory out there. But you have to be in just the right spot to see an annular eclipse. Lunar eclipse, both solar eclipses and lunar eclipses, you know, are, are a little bit different, but for solar eclipse, the shadow barely hits Earth and you had to be in exactly the right spot. For a lunar eclipse, a lot more people have seen lunar eclipses because if you were anywhere on the night side of the Earth, you look up and you see it. So solar eclipse, ex only the exact right part of the Earth sees it, Whereas for a lunar eclipse, the entire nighttime half of the Earth season, you know, weather permitting. So that'll be our next topic, lunar eclipses.